live now. Here we are. We're just starting to go live and uh, comments will start coming up here, Terry. Terry is going to look after this today. So we're going to look at this rug. But before we do that, um, I'm just waiting for people to come on. So Betty Perouche is watching. Betty lives in Cape Breton and has, Betty has been coming to workshops with me since Terry, since I had my studio in my house. Oh, wow. And Sharon Santing is watching. And uh, that's great. Now, we want to remind you that next week, um, we want to remind you, we'll have lots to talk about today. I'm getting out my trusty little planner here. And we have lots to talk about today. Greg has bought in a rug that he made for his um, for his daughter. Joe, are you all live too? Everything's yep. good? Everybody great. Up. And so people will pop up and make comments. We have two new co-hosts with me today. Terry Cove, who I've known forever. And Joe, who... Joe, I haven't known as long, really. Hey, Joe. Nope. No, but I've known Joe's partner forever. So it's um, Angela and Lorna are both off today. There's, <laughs> so. There's Joe. And uh, Angela and Lorna are both off today. Angela took the whole week between Christmas and New Year's off, so she's having a little rest. And Lorna just took today off. And Lorna said last night, oh, I don't know if I can take tomorrow off. What about the live? And I said, oh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> and so Greg has bought in a rug because he's made a rug for his daughter. And it was very spring-like. It, it was very summer-like. So let's go see what Greg's brought us. I'm going to take this with me. Hopefully we don't get a big squeal. There we go. Oh, yeah. One second. Don't show... Just, oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. I gotta hide those. Yeah. Got my piece oh. of gold, so don't look at me for a second. I gotta hide <laughs> those rugs. What we're doing for the, Gre the camera? Greg. Greg's hiding his rug, shy. too. Are you camera shy, Greg? Yeah, it's not my. It's hard to get a good side. Oh my, so many this people saying world, hi. World unveiling of this rug. My wife Barbara LaBerge says hi, Joe. Hi. <laughs> oh, and so does Connie La LaRue. Hi, Connie. Connie Hickman LaRue. Hi from snowy Vancouver. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Carol Cooper's watching. Sandra Lowe. Theme. Hi from northern Michigan. Hi from La Belle Provence. Oh, great. Last spring, wasn't Greg? Yeah, last spring. And so now he's made her a winter rug. So let's, this is the reveal. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, it's, it's a charm. Beautiful. It's Northern Lights. Northern Lights. Yeah. Northern Lights. It's And I love your snowflakes. <laughs> did you copy a template or did you no, just draw? You're a really not. good drawer. Really. Well, I've drawn a lot of yours. So yeah, I was true. thinking about this. this. There's a lot of your influence in here. That tree is very reminiscent of a uh, woman, woman and her dog. Oh, yeah, uh, right, yeah. The, these, well, I feel it's very your own, Greg. These trees are a lot like spruce meadow. Yeah. This background is a lot like Harvest Moon, except it doesn't have the, uh, the Different colors. colors. Yeah. Yeah. And you just use white just here. You use leech, white and... Leech and natural. Uh, yeah, hold it up, Greg. You should hold it like this. Velma are you says, wow, like her, gorgeous. Yeah, the only thing I... The house is a little, oh. little cartoonish, but uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm, I think it's I meant charming. It to be a um, like a folk art style. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it feels folk arty, it's but just it's sweet. Like it's a runner rug for the bottom of her bed. bed. Yeah, the rug is fabulous. It is. That's the comments we're getting. Yes. The rug is fabulous. Beautiful. Mike not working well. Oh, maybe. Oh well, because I was far away, but we should be good now. Uh, Greg doesn't have a mic, so he's got to really yell. It's such a nice size, too. I, I like how big it is. Yeah, Gorgeous. I think it's great. I love it. You happy with it? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm yeah. happy how it turned out. Do you think Ellen will be happy with it? Well, to me. <sighs> <laughs> she has her cupcakes on the wall. Yeah. She loves the cupcake rock. Beautiful, yeah, Greg. No, Love the crazy. blue house. You're getting comments on your blue house that you think yeah, is... Yeah, that's the, my least favorite. My favorite, actually, is this layer of sky that was done with a um, stone pass. It's called, I, I dyed that one, and I dyed this, this, and I dyed the uh, the yarns for the uh, 
for the uh, Aurora Borealis as well. I really like the moon too. I just find that it's it's just the right size moon for the rug. Yeah, yeah. I find them. I think the moon is big for the rug, but I yeah. love the bigness yeah. of the moon. I think it works really yeah. good, and it sort of brings you back to the to what all this grounding. I think you did a really good job on this snow with two simple yarns. Three. There's, Three. Uh, oh, there is a third, like a uh, New Zealand new, stream or uh, one this. Oh, you use that. I use oh, this use the for Lana Grande. in between the yeah. just to give a little bit of yeah. I really like that. I yeah. like this. I, yeah. It's almost like a. It's not diamonds, but it's almost like fish shape. Uh, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Connie Hickman Luff, Larue says your daughter will adore it and treasure treasure it forever. Right, so there you go. Ply right there is a three ply yarn, right? That's three ply. Three ply. Yeah, that's four ply. Greg likes the way three ply dies. Yeah. So we're going to get yeah. more three ply. Yeah. That's the plan. And this is this. I think. No, it's no. not that. No. no. But it's uh, it's this, but in a different color. Different color. Uh, not this one. No. It was a dark blue. Oh, blue. it's oh, it. There this it is. is it here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. 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 Awesome. You did great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should be happy. Did it feel good to be hooking you here? Um. I get so, um, I have to finish it. So, I know. Yeah. I have the same compulsion. Yeah, it, it is a compulsion. And, yeah. And I wish I didn't. I, I, don't, I have a hard time putting it down. <laughs> Someone wants to be adopted. I miss the name. <laughs> 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 what about it, Greg? Are you yeah. expanding your my, family? <laughs> no, my wife would surely get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she might just get a little worked yeah. up about that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, no, probably. you did a great job. I love it. So when are you giving it to Ellen? Uh, probably New Year's. Okay. Unless, unless she's watching. She's watching. I, I she might be it. in to get it tonight. It. Yeah. Greg's daughter is a great baker, and we had a picture of her house in our newsletter a couple weeks ago. She's really good with tree. design yeah. of our Christmas tree and stuff. She has the sweetest place. So nice. this is going to be lovely at the end of her bed. Thanks for bringing it in, and I love it. Okay, Greg thanks. said to me today, how will I know if you don't like it? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I almost like every rug, but I, they're not always to my taste. And you wouldn't, I don't think you'd know if I didn't like it really, Greg. I think you'd just, I, but I, I never feel like I don't like them. I just feel if I, if I do see a rug that is not my taste, I think that's different than not liking it, yeah. right? Like there's a lot of things I like, but I don't, they're not my taste. We're all like that. We all have our preferences, right? But I think this is really beautiful. You did a great job. Thank you. And I really love, there's things about it that I really love. This being one, I love the house, yeah. and I love the moon, and I love the snowflakes, and I love the northern lights. Those are the things. I thought that the northern lights would really pop more against that darkness, but mm -hmm. I don't find that they do. That there is a little bit of washing out. Yeah, but, uh, it's the gray. Gray brings gray. Like, gray. It's hard to get things to pop off of gray. Yeah, that's just the truth. That's yeah. just how it is. It's hard to get things to really jump off it, but you need the dark. To yeah. make them pop. And I mean, that is really the way they are in the sky, too. Yeah. But I like them. I think they pop enough. I think they pop pretty good. Oh, Shelly Richardson says she she likes the spark of the little red building. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. I know. I agree. Yeah. It was yeah. a good color choice. Yeah. yeah. And I like the movement of the tree. See how the tree has gone like this? Yeah. It's like been bit by the wind. Yeah. It's really nice. Oh. So next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go inside and I'm going to finish a rug and I'm going to talk to you about a few things. I'll bring my mic with right. me. Thank you, Greg. Bye, Bye. Greg. Back to work. <laughs> All right. So I've been working on this rug for a few weeks. I always have to take my earrings out here. I don't know. I should just wear studs here. Um, so I've been working on this rug for a few weeks. So the things I want to talk about today, I want to talk about Greg's rug. He did a really good job. Greg is a natural drawer. Like he came here and within two weeks when he started working here, quite a few years ago now, um, uh, he was just hooking and knew how to do it, you know? And he just was just really has a lot of natural talent. Um, today I've got it in my head that I want to design a really big rug, but I, I don't know what to do. So I don't think I can get that done on this show. But I have this idea that I'm going to have a really big rug on here and I want to hook it. Um, I also uh, want to uh, finish this rug and reveal it with you today. I want to tell you that I just put up a podcast with Haley Perry of Loop by Loop Studio. 
And many of you know that Haley Perry is my niece. She is my sister's daughter, and she learned how to hook from her, her mother, who is my sister, whom I taught how to hook. So that's up on the podcast, and of course the podcast is free, and if you go to our website, remember, everything is going to the website as of next week, so the live, it'll show up here on Facebook because we will share it here, but the live will happen next week at hookingrugs.com under lives, and you'll click on lives on hookingrugs.com, we'll send out a link about it, but... Um, the, the live will happen at 2 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, but it will start from our website just so that we can give you a clearer picture and we want everything to sort of originate on the website and live there with us. So um, we can, we'll can we still ask you to share it on Facebook and we want you to do that, of course. It's a wonderful, wonderful medium, but we want to uh, we want you to go to our website and do watch the lives from there so we can have a clearer picture better sound uh, we're using a different program and i think it's going to work a lot better so i'm hooking here today and i've been working on this rug i listened to a novel all week uh from libby i use libby uh which is a free uh, audio download uh from the from the library and i listened to a, a novel and i spent a lot of hours on that this week on this rug this week so I don't know if I'll get it finished today or not for you, but we'll get it started. And while I'm here talking to you, you know, oh, Greg, yeah. could you bring us in some presents like that they're packing in the gifts? Bring us in a little basket? Thanks. Um, you know that this week is our, I don't know, it's like our fifth annual packing presents promotion. We've been doing it for a long time. Joe, you're not saying a thing. I can't get a word in it, but... <laughs> So it's our annual, and how's the promotion going, Joe, so far? It's going very hot and heavy, and uh, we're having great fun packing things. I know. And it's always fun to actually pick up different items because there's so many different gifts that we're putting into the packs. Yeah. And everybody's kind of excited because it's kind of like Christmas Eve actually putting them in. <laughs> and kind of going, oh, there's Carla, oh, there's Bonnie, what are we going to give her today? Yeah, I know. There, you often know the people when... Yeah, it's sweet. So it's a thing that we started doing. I am a big, I love gifts and uh, I love giving gifts and I just love that whole idea that's associated with Christmas of gift giving and it's something that I started quite a few years ago. Oh, there we go. So here's just some of the presents that we're packing <laughs> in the gifts. So, you know, I know what's in all of these, but you don't know what's in them and there's all kinds of goodies here and in every parcel that we ship out, uh, with uh, on order over fifty dollars, there's a gift in the parcel. So if you've been saving and waiting to order, now's a good time. So get out there and get on the website and place your order. And there's your little parcel of gifts. And we'll be putting different things in every order. And when you order, I think over a hundred dollars, you get two gifts. And over two hundred dollars, you get three gifts. And sometimes we throw in a little extra. Just depends. So. We're just having fun with that. It's a it's a promotion that we plan for all year. Joe and I have been buying stuff all year. <laughs> Since June. <laughs> Since June. We bought the first gifts in June. So it was just really fun. And uh, we just encourage you. It's always a, a exciting time at the studio. And thank God we have the wrappers. <laughs> I know. And Lily, uh, Mary's daughter, who volunteers with us on Saturday, Lily came in today and just came in just to wrap because we ran out of presents and we, we ran out of wrapped presents and we had to get the wrapping done. So Several people fun. asking what novel you were re reading on well, Libby. I was reading a novel uh, by C.J. Box. It was okay. It was, you know, it was, uh, I read some very, you know, it was kind of dark and there was a lot of cursing in it. So I'm just telling you, and there was a lot of murder. So I, I don't know if you want to read it, but... Um, it was, uh, I don't know the title of it even, but I just go on and a lot of times I'll just listen to a mystery novel. I don't, I don't find I can, <laughs> I personally don't find I can really listen to literature very well, uh, like heavier books. I just need something to carry me away. And sometimes it's just the company. I just kind of want some company when yeah. I'm in here hooking by myself. And Angel's been gone all week <laughs> and I got headphones for my, um, uh, for Christmas from my son. So I used those last night too. So I'll listen to that while I'm cooking sometimes. And I just like, I just like to have a little company. It's kind of nice, especially going into winter. 
Um, so it was a novel, a mystery novel by C.J. Fox, sort of set in Yellowstone Park. It was, it was oh, good, you know, it was all right, I wouldn't mind it. Um, Greg, who is more of a literature listener, would be, you know, he'd probably snub at my choice. I'm reading, uh, the, I'm reading the fifth of Dune. Oh, are you the yeah. fifth of Dune? That's okay. science fiction, is it? It is. It's it's a six collection, and it's kind of been picking away at it since I've been in my twenties, and kind of get my butt in gear this year. And it's now the new movie came out for it. Oh, okay. So you're Indeed. reading that. Are yeah. you reading anything, Terry? Yeah, I'm reading. Well, actually, I just finished reading Us Against Them by what's his name? Can, you read the Bear Town. Oh, right. He wrote I A Man Bear Called Town. Old. It's it's. Um, it's not Uva, Ova, I don't know. But he wrote Beer Champ. Frederick, uh, Frederick something. I'm not Klaus? sure. Klaus? Yeah. Or something maybe. like that. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I just finished that. So now I'm reading The Last Thing I Told Him. And I can't remember the author either. The Last Thing I Told Him. Okay. So, Lucy somebody. Good? Yeah. Well, yeah. I just started. So, but I'm, I'm already getting in there. I did read Blue Diary by Alice Hoffman. I got it at the library oh, sale. And Frederick Bachman. Frederick Bachman. Stacy Sheehan Wilson told us. Right. Thank you, Stacy. We appreciate that. So you guys are welcome. Every once in a while we do that. If you want to write in the comments what you're reading, people love to know. And you can give it a you know thumbs up or maybe recommend it. Um, I would recommend uh, Blue Diary by Alice Hoffman. I, she's the author of Practical Magic. And maybe I'll put that in the in the book in the in the Tuesday news this week you notice we didn't send out a Tuesday news this week because we are we know that we are sending out a lot of emails this week we have one every day because that's how we pay everybody so <laughs> I just want you to know that 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 it will stop after after the first it, 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 we have uh, emails to go out every day because we are promoting some really important things this week that we know uh, well, one thing particularly that we know changes people's lives, and that's oh. the harbor. And those of you who've taken it, if you could tell tell people that it's a good course, we are running it again this year, and I'm going to be actively involved again this year. I'm going to do some, with the harbor this year, I'm going to do some things with the people who join just this year, so that, and we'll be moving our Village Harbor Facebook group, mm -hmm. We will be moving that to the website because we have our own community on there. So that's going to be happening. You'll get an email about that if you join the harbor. You're going to have a private community. Um, and if you took the harbor in the last two years, you are enjoy invited to join that community. It's DFS Social on the website. And uh, we're, we're going to be making announcements about that this in the next week. We'll send emails and stuff. But we do have... A private community and within that private community we will have our harbor group um, our village group so that's going to be for this year this year the harbor has a new workbook for everybody who joins and um, and if you were a member other years you're always a member of the harbor so remember that we can uh, we, we always want you to come back and but I really do encourage you to join there's so many five-star reviews and I've gotten so many letters and emails. I got a letter from Kathleen Kettles and she said that she and she lives in Scotland and she's been a member of the harbor for a couple of years and she said that it even got her to sit down and write her memoirs. So I think there's it the harbor is about uh, deepening your creativity and about connecting with yourself uh, and the artist that is within you because there's creativity within all of us, and I know that. I know that, you know, that there's this little seed in all of us, and it needs to be nurtured if you want to become a more creative person. You can't just sort of say, I know it's there, um, you know, sometime I'll get at it. You do have to spend time on it, and uh, I think you've really nurtured your creativity since you've come here, Joe. Oh, definitely. Yeah, not yeah. that you always weren't. You always were, but you have really... I have a different aspect of creativity now. Yeah, you do. It's it runs deeper and it's more free form than just following a pattern. Yes. Yeah, you're changed. You've changed. And I see more things in the natural landscapes. So when I look at trees, whether the the bow of the branches curves downward or upward or angular, 
Yeah. You notice. I notice that more now. You start to see things in a different way. Yeah. And even, Terry, I notice the creativity that I've seen develop in you since you've been working here is in your dress. Oh. It's been really interesting. Like, you just changed your look, right? I guess so. Yeah. yeah you have. I've, I've noticed that quite a bit. So, um, anyway, back to me. Yeah. <laughs> So, so the passports for Harbor will go out in January? Uh, yeah, the people, the people who, you can just email me. If you're already a member, you can contact us for the passports, but we will be sending them out again in January. Um, you, if you haven't joined yet, it's time to join because there's only two days left and then it's going off the website. So you have today uh, and till Jan we're going to leave it up until January 1st to join the Harbor. And it is a course about... It's a master class in rug hooking, art, and creativity, and it's about um, deepening your creativity and getting in touch with your creativity, uh, mainly through rug hooking. But you can use it. You, it, it applies to all kinds of. It applies to all kinds of different arts and crafts, and you know because our, the how we become creative is like uh, how we become creative. Uh, is not about our medium as much as it is about ourselves and how how we approach our, our life and ourselves. So I'm excited to be uh, doing some work for that and thinking about how we're going to send out a little letter each month about it this year. Last year we didn't. When people joined, we just let them work through it on their own. But this year I think I wanna stay more in touch, a little bit more in touch with people. So I'm kind of excited about that. And we are getting ready to, um, uh, I mean, mostly what we're doing right now is packing these presents, aren't we, Joe? That's right. That is mostly what we're doing is packing presents. And getting ready for a whole new 365 days. <laughs> I know. I know. Sometimes I think, I was listening to um, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Do you guys listen to that? The Seinfeld show on Netflix. It's so yeah. good. I, I just, I've always loved Seinfeld. And anyway... Louise, uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, who was, who was Elaine mm -hmm. on uh, Seinfeld, well, she was on it the other night, and I watched it. And one of the things she said was that her mother said, you always have to have little things to look forward to, right? And so my daughter's gone home now, and after the holidays, you know, our children go back to work and to life, and, and Christmas is over. So it's really, it's a really important time to have a little something to look forward to, really. And so I'm just going to try and make sure that I, I thought that was good advice. Like that's just good advice to carry around with you. Just to build little things into your life that give you something to look forward to. Uh, Linda Nickel yeah. is saying she's waiting patiently for her order to arrive. Yes. And uh, we've had a large volume of orders so we've had to order in more product so there could be you know a couple of days delay yeah but they're coming they're coming yeah yeah the other thing is that uh, ups and canpar and canada post and united states postal service closes down on new year's eve right until january 2nd so we had that same experience over christmas right they so, delay they delay us a yeah. bit so we don't have as many shipping days during that two-week period yeah. But we're getting at it, and there's two people every day working at it, and Joe, too. So we are on it. And if there's going to be a real delay, we'll get in touch with you for sure. Thanks, Linda, for being patient. So I'm almost finished this. Now, do you want me to stay with you? Because I think it's getting late, and I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this. Do you want to stay with me, or do you want me to wrap it up? Oh, they said that they also, you give us something to look forward to. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. And, you know, I do really look forward to doing this. It's, I get a lot of joy out of doing this. And I'm really excited about carrying it over to the website and uh, doing it with, you know, um, having better video and stuff. I'm really excited about about trying to do it better. And you'll still be able to comment. There are three dots when we do it on the website. And we're going to put up a video explaining all of that. We've got so many. We've got so many things to do for you. <laughs> we have two big changes coming. One is that there is a community going to be on our website. DFS Social. And that the lives are going to happen on the website. See how this is so nice? The blue, green. You know what I dreamt about the other night? Light blue and light green mixed <laughs> together. 
You dreamt colors. Do you I do that dream, often? I do. I do. I dream about my rugs a lot. Yeah. I do as well when I have a challenge I can't figure out. Do you? I'll go to bed and it'll come to me by the next morning. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Best so, to leave, leave it, leave it, and get some rest. Right. It's not a restful. It's not a restful sleep because I toss and turn thinking about it, but <laughs> yeah, I know. something snaps and it pops out of the brain. Do you guys do that? Do you? Do you dream about color and rugs and? <laughs> oh, won't you stay just a little bit longer? I'll stay. <laughs> kind of think. Bit longer. I do. I kind of want to stay and finish this. I want to see in my book now if there's anything else I was supposed to tell you. I wanted to tell you about Greg's rug. And remember, you can get a nice calendar free on hookingrugs.com. Just go to courses and free. Um, the podcast is up. I want to finish the rug and reveal. And do that's it. That's all I got to tell you. Okay, so now I've got to do is I got a hook. Got a hook, hook, hook. All right. Any anybody mentioning any books, Terry? Yeah, lots. But lots now they've all books. gone by. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. <laughs> That's good. So you guys can check the comments later for the books that you want to get some recommendations. And someone asked, do you dream that you're hooking? No, I more dream about the rug. I don't really dream that I'm hooking. Does she dream that she's hooking? She said it's been too fast. Okay, that's all right. Someone said they solve dilemmas in their sleep. Yeah, we do. Always dreaming through process and color. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I was thinking about a hoop. Someone said they're always dreaming process and color, Terry. They're always they're dreaming through process and color. I find that interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. So this is the thing about this rug is I have no idea. We're going to make a big reveal, but I have no <laughs> idea if we're revealing something good or something bland. I don't know. This uh -huh. is a new... Looks pretty... It, it looks pretty beautiful. Beautiful from here. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty beautiful to me. So I think I'm going to go into the new year with a really large rug. Oh, Vicki Landrigan says that's why they always say sleep on it. <laughs> that is why they say, yeah, Vicki Landrigan says that's why they say sleep on it. Yeah, makes sense, Vicki. Gave my husband a challenge to go get five pictures. More, oh. you go, you got, it goes too fast. Here, right? I'm sorry. It goes, I, they go so fast. Okay. I can't. That's all right. Can't mumble because we can't hear you. Sorry, <laughs> love the colors and it looks huge. <laughs> All right. Uh, how long have we been on, you guys? Have we been have we overworked, overstood our time? I don't have a time thing you on, know, Joe, what time on the screen. It is? Uh, it says it's two twenty-seven, so it's, you've probably got three minutes left. Got three minutes left. Okay. Okay. Can I get this done? It's going to take me longer than three minutes, but. Maybe we'll just go a couple of minutes over this year, this this one. Oh, it's the last one of the year. Why not stretch it's it out? the last one of the year. That's right. I'm going to do a circle here. So what I'm doing here, one of the things I'm doing when I do a background like that is I'm constantly making shapes. So see how I brought this blue and turned it into a circle? Like that's, that's important. You can't just sort of go willy-nilly. You've got to give it some shape, you know? you got to give things a little interest in a little shape that's important so now i need some contrast there i need i need some blue oh, there we go I'm almost there, folks. <laughs> Lots of excited. votes for you going over time. Lots of votes. We're good, eh? We're all right. Okay, I'm going up here. Going over the blue. Can you tell them about the inspiration for this rug? Uh, the inspiration for this rug uh, began... Uh, well, it just began with color, knowing that I wanted to use uh, turquoise. That that was the initial thing. We were had, had had a conversation in the studio about turquoise. And then the birds were inspired by an art show that I'd seen in Quebec by René Joanne in, uh, oh, a few years ago. Uh, I, really, I really liked uh, the way he focused on birds. And I have done a lot of birds over the years. And I just thought, I'm going to make them 
his are black and I mean it's completely different but it is inspired by that was one inspiration so inspiration comes because a lot of things meet together right and um, then flowers sort of lily shaped flowers little little lilies um, the shape of the flowers and then this soft pink sometimes so it's all of these things coming together and kind of like this shape kind of reminded me of snowdrops so it was how how floral how the flowers meet the sky and i'm doing one at home too in a very similar uh, uh design style but the colors are quite different at home they're much deeper because my palette at home is very different than my palette in here which i always find really interesting because i'm often working on two rugs at the same time um, so that's where the inspiration there's no direct inspiration other than we would say the most direct inspiration would be nature and uh, I really love I really love what's happened and I think if you look at this rug you'll see some influences like from my own work earlier work I would see there's a little bit of influence of the sea garden abstract rug there's also influence of um, floral impressions that we did one year and we uh you know so okay that's the last stitch you guys I'm lifting it off I'm getting to it i gotta get my uh gotta get my white handle and my old scissors over there that are good so let's Sorry, see folks. what we got here so i have my long rods on and my long rods are staying on for a while because I think I'm going to do a rug about twice this size next. So, I also think the inspiration is the gulls at Emma Shore for this, I would have to say. So you can see how many things when you said, what's the inspiration? I said, oh, well, there's this, and there's this, and there's this, and there's this. There's so many things come together. I'm going over here. Excuse me, you guys. Mm -hmm. And I just want to give a special thank you to Joe and Terry for filling in today and helping us. Joe and Terry will be answering the comments on our new uh, platform when we do it right on the website. Sometimes I like to get down and look underneath here and just see what's going on. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I still don't know. <laughs> don't know if it's good or what it is. Let's see. We're going to know in a minute. You know, the thing Very is, exciting. Do not judge your rug as soon as you take it off the frame. Give it time. I think there's some rugs that I loved more. I loved more like six months later, three weeks later, even a year later than I did right when I take them off the frame. And then sometimes. I take it off the frame, and it's like, oh, that's the best thing I ever made. And then three months later, it's like, oh, that's just good. That's <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I'm going to lay it down so I can see it with you. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful. Oh. oh. Now I'm going to hand hold it up. I just love People get an idea of how big it is. The flowers oh. and the birds, and it's really, really beautiful. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. There it is, folks. So if you want to get inspired, lots wish, of hearts, lots, lots of, hearts, of hearts, and thumbs up. Great, lots of hearts, lots wow, of Wow, outstanding. Ooh, love it. <laughs> so if you want to get inspired this year and make beautiful work and Put yourself into your work. Join me for the harbor at hookingrugs.com. That's where I want you to join me. And you have uh, two days left to join, and that's it. Isn't that beautiful? I'm really happy with this. Woo! <laughs> the beauty. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Blessings going into the new year. We're going to see lots of each other into the new year. We've got lots of ideas and plans for this show. And it's Thursday live at hookingrugs.com. Come see us anytime. And we'll continue to post on YouTube. And we'll, we'll always be up there all week for you. But you can watch us live Thursday, 2 p.m. Atlantic time at hookingrugs.com. Thank you.